Eurovision 2013, it's all about me. This is part one in a two-part series where we're looking at the videos whose titles make prominent use of the first person singular pronoun in the objective case. This time, it's the UK with Believe in Me and the island nation of Cyprus with On Me Timase, which is all Greek to me. Welcome to Overthinking It, where we subject the popular culture to a level of scrutiny it probably doesn't deserve. First up, it's the United Kingdom, looking to take home the crown after a 16-year drought. The UK is among the winningest countries in Eurovision, racking up five victories since their debut in 1957, the second year of the contest, and coming in as runner-up 15 times. But they came in second to last in 2012, having gone to the trouble of wheeling out 75-year-old Engelbert Humperdinck. Carrying the Union Jack into battle for 2013 is international superstar Bonnie Tyler, singer of perennial overthinking it karaoke favorite Total Eclipse of the Heart, as well as the meta soundtrack to every movie montage ever, holding out for a hero. Seriously, UK? An international multi-platinum superstar is going to Eurovision? Isn't that a little like bringing a gun to a knife fight? Or to a charity dodgeball tournament? But never mind. What's on offer here is less a power ballad and more a musical takedown of Ludwig Wittgenstein in Believe in Me. You say you don't believe in signs from up above and you laugh at the thought of putting your faith in stuff like love You never see the rainbow, you just curse the rain You say you wanna And what is her advice for this unseen listener who is suffering such a profound crisis of faith? I don't want to get bogged down in metaphysics here, but the things that Bonnie Tyler is singing about are not really problems with belief. You never see the rainbow, you just curse the rain. I mean, that guy's not a, not a, a, a tortured soul. He's not undergoing a profound crisis of faith. He's a jerk. Like many a freshman philosophy paper about throwing switches to reroute trolleys to hit various groups of various demographics, Believe in Me answers a question that nobody is asking. Though, just for the record, I would totally throw the switch to save a truck full of pandas. Because pandas are adorable. Oh my god, look, that one has a baby. By the way, country pop, comforting message, a camera swooping around, women on a beach. Am I crazy? Or does this remind you of Wilson Phillips? Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Until then. Now on to Cyprus, a country who unfortunately got caught up in the Greek financial crisis and suffered a total eclipse of their credit rating. Which raises the question, what are they doing in Eurovision anyway? If you win, you have to host next year's show. I mean, okay, it's not the Olympics, I admit, but it's not cheap either. Could Cyprus be playing to lose? <laughs> The answer is a resounding probably. No, no, don't get me wrong. Despina Olympiou is a good singer and an even better Scrabble word. But these lyrics, I mean, let's take a look. Two hearts in one. Yada, 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 da, da. I miss you. Da, 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 da. The sweetest, I love you. I mean, there's not much here. The chorus is a little better, especially the last time when it's coupled with this B-horror movie footage. But okay, let's see what it looks like when we put it together with a real horror movie soundtrack. What on earth 
is that woman running to? Or from? We'll be back soon with part two of our look at me on Overthinking It, where we subject the popular culture to a level of scrutiny it probably doesn't deserve.